Well, that's, we're about to do a recap, so let's see if that'll that'll address your questions. So let's show off the big ending here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in multiple dimensions, part 28, nuance. In today's episode, we set out to adjust chapters three and four of the composition, and we ended up adding a brand new ending, which you just heard part of, which was based on our earlier impromptu work area, which sounded like this. And we liked it because we we ended up re-listening to it since our last stream. It has a lot of build strong energy, which is what we wanted. And we also wanted the fourth chapter wasn't was wasn't long enough. It needed to be extended. Um, so we added a new ending using the improvisation from earlier that you just heard us. We adjusted dynamics, spacing, uh, passing, figure direction. That was a kind of a neat, fun thing. For example, passing figure direction shows up here. We were just going up and up and up the whole time. So we reversed that a couple times and it comes out and it sounds really nice. So these were all nuances, which was kind of our theme for today, nuance. Um, then we started revisiting our line energy diagram chart, which if you may, may, may remember, it looks like this. For every section of the score, like at bar zero, we have a name for the part, a tempo here. And then for every major phrase, uh, bar two, where we begin in earnest. And so, um, and then the, one of the reasons we do that is we need a timestamp for our animations, like 1.2 seconds and so forth. But the other reason is that we like to assign an energy score. So if it's a slow tempo, if it's a medium tempo, if it's a fast tempo, uh, the music has different levels of energy. And we've done this in previous scores. And what we love about this system is that we make it interactive so that we can show you five separate types of energy. So right now, if everything is zeroed out, we have zero energy. This is bar number. There's 200 bars in the score and the duration in seconds, and it just coincidentally averages out to 200 seconds. So if we just show the tempo alone, you see we have a fast, medium, slow, medium sections, which is exactly right. And that's reflected here, 150 beats per minute, 130, 90, and 130. And not to beat it too hard, but then if we show you the dynamics when it's soft and loud and very loud, um, you can see we have pretty steady, then a little rising, then a little variation, and then the big dramatic ending like that. So we ended up including cadence, which is uh, it, what type of uh, chord sequence it is. We included, um, is the figure those fast 30 seconds or is it slow? half notes, and then we included, does it have a drum or not? For example, you can see a big difference with, does it have a drum part or not? Um, only the second and the fourth chapters have drum, and then in the fourth chapter, we start articulating the drum and hitting it hard on a syncopated beat. So the point of all this is that in order to keep music interesting, it has to be at least 60 seconds long, because 30 seconds is enough to catch your interest, but if you stop there, it ticks people off. But after 60 seconds, you got to do something different or uh, you lose the attention. So if you look here, we see in the seconds, a minute comes about there at 60 seconds. So we've already changed it. And then the second minute is 120, but now we've gone to the third change. And anyway, it's three minutes uh, and a half, basically. And between here and here 
is hitting the 60 second mark but then boom we jump it up and do something different and then in here we're kind of really jacking the energy around and coming in for a peaceful close so that's one of the reasons we use energy diagrams and it's also a way for us to help tune what we're doing we're going to play that whole thing for you in a minute so um, in working with that diagram we updated the animation timestamps we adjusted we tweaked it to make the chart come out better and we added all of those tempo scores that we just discussed so what we're going to do is play the whole composition for you here and we're going to see if we can track it on the left hand side by looking at the diagram and follow along with the diagram here you see each of these little dots if you can hover over it tells you that's bar 2 bar 19 etc so we're going to have fun here so we're going to turn the mic off for this and here we go So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to double check our score, revisit the animation, and go ahead and download these new score files into the animation, 
make some more 3D models based on the hydrogen electron orbits. So acknowledgments to Hi-Fi Dauch, who showed up kind of at the nth moment, whatever it's called. Glad to have you here. Not sure if you are still there. Um, so thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Do come back, please. Uh, do take care. And... Do keep on streaming.